Hey guys, I am super excited to show this to you. I don't know if you're like me and go to Disney and absolutely love Mickey waffles, but when you get home, you can't get the same um, experience that you had at Disney. Um, I've been searching and searching about multiple irons, different sizes, but nothing was like the ones you got in the resorts or the park. But then they released this awesome iron that I just got in the mail. So excited. Haven't opened it yet. Makes the little Mickey heads that you would get in the um, theme parks, which is just so, so cool. So I thought I would open up the box for you guys, let you see what's inside, and we'll make some Mickey waffles. Super excited. So this was bought off of shopdisney.com, and I believe it was um, either $64.99 or $69. Um, but I just checked to go back and look, and it is sold out. So I really hope that they get some more in the near future. I'm so excited because we're going to make little Mickey heads, and it makes uh, six at once. There's three, uh, three waffles on each side, and I'm really excited. So let's check out this box. I guess it has an adjustable control. Like I said, it flips. It's non-stick, so that's really cool. Some instructions. Oh, I love how Mickey's peeking out. That's so cute. So let me see if we can grab this out of the box. Okay, so I took the styrofoam out of the box, and how cute is this? There's a little measuring cup, and I have to be careful because it looks like my styrofoam got smashed on it all over the kitchen. Oh, it's so cute. All right, we're just gonna get this out of the styrofoam and see what's next. Okay, so I got Mickey out of the box and here he is on top. He's so cute. Um, he's got this cool handle, looks like he rotates. Here we go, we've got our setting for how dark we want our waffles. This cute little Mickey emblem and then an on-off light, which I'll show you when I plug it in. Okay, so when you're going to open the iron, there is this little clip here, and you just simply slide it out, and then the lid lifts up. Oh, there he is, there's Mickey, there's three of them, I love it. Let me just grab this paper, and you can see the bottom plates. So excited. We're gonna give it a flip, so we, so make sure you're, that you close the button before you flip it, because it will start to get all funny. Then you can open it again and pull out the second layer. Oh, look on the back side, it's Mickey shorts. So cute. So I'm gonna turn it. Super excited to make some waffles. Okay guys, so I've plugged in my waffle maker and um, I'm ready to turn it on and get it preheated. So I'm gonna switch it on and I'm gonna turn mine up because I like my waffles more done than not and there's a little white indicator light so you just kind of twist it to where you want it so that should be heating up now I'm excited so um, the other part of any good Mickey waffle is trying to make it taste like the waffles at Disney um, so it's been rumored that the Disney uses uh, golden malted as their brand I was able to buy this from the Golden Malted's website. Um, I got the instant uh, where you just add water. You don't need to add um, eggs and milk and all of that. This is just add water. Um, this is the one that they had available when I purchased it, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can also buy the standard mix where you would add everything else. So this is waffle and pancake flour. And if we look on the back, it says that I just need one and a half cups of golden malted flour, which comes in this bag, a cup of water, two tablespoons of melted butter if I'd like some, and then um, I'm gonna add a little vanilla to mine because um, I'm always a fan of that. Let's get started. So you can hear that the Mickey oven, or the Mickey waffle maker just started beeping. You'll notice there's a light here. 
um, on the top and then both the white there on the bottom, meaning that both sides are ready. They're preheated and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna mix up my waffle batter and make some Mickey waffles. So of course, for measuring out my Mickey waffles, I have to use some Mickey measuring cups. I've got um, the one cup here and the half cup here. I also bought these on shopdisney.com and they're super cute because they collapse down and then pop back up. That's really fun. So I need a cup and a half of waffle mix and um, we'll get started with that. Okay, I've got my waffle mix um, all measured out. I'm gonna add it to my bowl. Hey, Mickey. And here's the half cup. He's winking, so cute. All right, so I've got the waffle mix, and next is gonna be the water. Okay, I've got one cup of filtered water measured out. I'm gonna add it to my bowl. it up. See if we can get all the lumps and bumps out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just got back from Disney. Ate a Mickey waffle, of course. Um, home, and I'm missing it already. Um, thank goodness all this stuff was waiting for me when I got back so that I could make one here and feel like I have a little piece of the magic here at home with me. Most of the lumps are gone. And I'm just gonna add some vanilla extract because it's my jam. I love it. Um, just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and whisk that up. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna release the tab and open it up. instruction book said that I could go ahead and give it a light coat with non-stick spray if I preferred so just spray it a little bit and then um, I'm gonna use the cup that came with um, with the Mickey waffle iron to fill the or the little Mickey heads so we're gonna pour that in there Drippy, but first time's a charm. And we'll push it closed, and I'm gonna give it a flip and open up my other side. And I'm gonna give it a spray. And also pour in the batter on this side. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing, guys. I'm so excited. I might have these Mickey here at home. I'm not sure if I'm overfilling these. We're gonna find out. And I'm gonna close it up, flip it back. And this indicator light you notice is now off and it's supposed to come back on when the waffles are ready. The bottom one is off too, so now we wait. So I'm still waiting for the waffles to be done. And you guys can see it but there's some steam coming off of there and my indicators lights are not on yet um, so I'm waiting for those to come on and then the instruction manual said it'll beep too when the waffles are done so that's good that you have the visual and you can also um, that beep will let you know when it's ready which is awesome um, I'm so excited too because I brought out my Mickey plates to put my Mickey waffles on of course you need the whole experience got some cute Mickey shorts and love. Mickey's over here. He's so excited. Um, gosh, I just, I can't wait to see if these come out like the real thing. Um, fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. So we got our first beat, meaning that um, I believe these are supposed to be done. So I'm going to click it open. Raise it up. Oh my goodness, guys. There's Mickey. I'm so excited. Um, they're not perfect. But you know what, this is the closest I have come. Oh my goodness, they're so cute to having these Mickey waffles at home. My kids are just gonna adore these. Oh, I can feel already that they're really crispy, um, which is great. I don't like soggy waffles. So 
I'm really excited that this is turning out to be more of a waffle maker and not a pancake maker, which um, most of them do. So we've got our other light just came on and the other side is ready. So I'm gonna close it, push the button shut, flip it around, open again and check out this side. Oh, yum. So we lost a little bit of Mickey's ear over here, but and this one kind of spilled out, but I think that's okay for the first time. Um, still learning, but I can't wait to see how they came out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So these are gonna go on my Mickey glove. Oh, can you hear that, Chris? I'm so excited. This one looks like he's got a hat on. <laughs> so cute. So, can't wait to see. I'm gonna shut off my iron. I don't wanna leave on any appliances and I always make sure that I am plug when I'm done um, so I don't walk around and forget that it's on. Okay guys, so I um, went ahead and just broke off the pieces that were hanging on the outside and it was super easy. So now I've got these cute Mickey heads. I don't have to worry about the overflow so that's really good to know. Um, how easy it just popped off and the mold stayed together and it looks like Mickey. So that's really great. Um, this guy's ear didn't get quite filled enough, but that's okay. There's nothing better than Mickey waffles with powdered sugar. So we're gonna sprinkle a little on and maybe a little on this side. So as you can see, I started eating a Mickey waffle and it was absolutely delicious. Um, really, really close to the waffles at Disney. They're not exact. I didn't expect them to be. I knew that my recipe wouldn't be exactly the same that Disney uses. I'm sure they don't want to tell us exactly what they use. Um, but man, it is close. If I close my eyes and pretend that I'm in the Magic Kingdom, then I really feel like I am having a true Mickey waffle. So this is just amazing. They were crunchy, they were light. They're a little thinner than you'd get at the Magic Kingdom or in any of the Disney restaurants. But, boy, they are really close. Um, I couldn't be happier with this. I know my kids are going to love it. I think we'll be making make waffles every day. Um, keep checking the Shop Disney site. I really hope that it comes back into stock because everybody, especially true Disney fans, really need to have one of these awesome irons in their kitchen. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll have a taste of Disney at home. Enjoy, guys. Bye.